Hello everyone. Welcome you all in Engineering Guru YouTube channel. Today I am going to cover another most important topic that is analytical method of balancing. This is from unit balancing of rotating masses. Balancing of rotating masses divided in two main type. First this is one balancing of single masses second balancing of different masses in previous video we already covered balancing of single rotating mass in the same plane and balancing of single rotating mass in different plane another two types is coming from balancing of different masses that is balancing of different masses rotating in same plane and the method that is balancing of different masses rotating in different way. In this video, we are going to focus on balancing of different masses rotating in the same plane. Balancing of different masses rotating in the same plane means we have number of different masses, but the all the masses rotating in the same plane consider any number of masses of magnitude that is m1 m2 m3 m4 so we have four number of masses at a distance r1 r2 r3 and r4 from the axis of the rotating surface here respective angles theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and theta 4 is the angle of the masses with horizontal line ox that already shown in figure this masses rotate about an axis through o and perpendicular to the plane of paper with a constant angular velocity that is omega radian per second because the axis of rotation is same for all masses because four masses one plane the, there are four masses rotating in same plane so now we will understand using this figure in this figure you can see the four different masses that is m1 m2 m3 and m4 their centrifugal force that always act outward side of the mass for m1 mass centrifugal force is fc1 for mass m2 that is fc2 for mass m3 this is fc3 for mass m4 this is fc4 here you can see the small m the small m is balanced mass and their centrifugal force fc and equal and opposite direction that's fc this is resultant okay here we can also see that that angle theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 fall from the ox line clear and distance little distance r1 r2 r3 and r4 now we will see analytical method for how to find this balanced mass balancing method the magnitude and position of mass the magnitude and position of balancing mass may be find out analytically and graphically that both method numerical we already covered so you can see my previous video in this video we are going to focus analytical method steps so first step find out the centrifugal force in this figure we already see that we have four number of four number of masses so 
firstly we have to find fc1 fc2 fc3 fc4 now how can we find centripetal force we already discussed in previous lecture centripetal force equal to m r omega square we have one axis of rotation means our omega is constant so we can find fc1 equal to m1 r1 fc2 m2 r2 fc3 m3 r3 fc4 m4 r4 so first step firstly find out the centripetal force second step resolve the centripetal force that is summation of h and summation of v and find their sums so in this second steps we have to find summation of h that is m1 r1 cos theta 1 plus m2 r2 cos theta 2 up to theta 4 then summation of vertical forces equal to m1 r1 sin theta 1 m2 r2 sin theta 2 and find out for 3 and 4 also now third step magnitude of the resultant centripetal force that is fc so find out fc how can we find fc from the step number 2 we find summation of h value and summation of v value that is horizontal and vertical from this we can find centripetal force fc fc equal to underwood summation of h whole square plus summation of v whole square now fourth step find out the resultant force angle that is theta that is theta tan theta equal to summation of v divided by summation of h so from this we can find theta theta equal to tan inverse summation of v by h fifth step the balancing force is then equal to the resultant force but in opposite direction we must have to draw in angular position of plane and final step that is sixth step find out the magnitude of the balancing mass fc equal to m into r so we can find uh, balancing mass or radius so this is the final step for find out the uh, balancing mass subscribe my youtube channel engineering guru 2020 you can also follow me on facebook whatsapp telegram thank you